Hello and welcome to the Expensify tutorial. Here I'll show you how to accept an invite and to start creating your first expense reports for reimbursement on your next paycheck. So if you go to your inbox, which will be your actual FreshBooks inbox, you'll see an invite from help at expensify.com reads AP has shared reimbursable expense reports policy with you. There's some instructions in here, but we don't need to do that now as I'm walking you through it via video. So once you click sign in, it'll bring you to an Expensify login page where you can create an account directly like this using your email. And this is what Expensify looks like. So it's just a general view of any reports that you have. And right now we have nothing. So we're going to go ahead and create a new expense report. And I'll just say it's from Taylor, May 2015. These are my expenses from May 2015. Whenever I, so now whenever I want to create an expense and submit an expense report, I want to make sure that my policy is set to reimbursable expense reports. This way, when you send it to finance, we'll know that it's the kind that goes onto your paycheck and not just the regular credit card, company credit card charge. So to start adding individual expenses to the report, click the plus button right here. If you've already created expenses in the past, or if you've taken pictures of receipts via the mobile app, they will be in this list right here and you can check the box and add them to a report. But if you haven't created anything yet, click new expense, and we all know what I do the most, and that's buy beer. And let's say it was $149. It is a reimbursable expense category. So now it's up to us to choose what we did with the money. So there's a lot of different categories here, and it's, used, it's really helpful for finance to know where to put it. So beer is what I'm going to be looking for. And then tag is the department. They're broken up into development departments, executive, finance, HR, and marketing. Support is under marketing. So if it's a general administrative, it's under finance, operations, admin, and that's what beer it falls under. Any comment for cases of Laba 50, how we love it so. You'll see there's a drag and drop functionality with the receipts, or you can click it to upload from your computer. I'm going to leave that for now. So now I have an expense report called Taylor May 2015, which has an expense on it. It's telling me that I'm violating a policy because I do not have a receipt attached and receipts are required for reimbursement. It will always tell you if you violated anything and you can reach out to myself or Grace on finance team and we can help you out with anything you need. So let's say you did submit it. All you have to do is click submit to AP at FreshBooks and you can put a memo explaining what you did. And once you hit submit, it will tell you again you've got a policy violation, but if you're bold and want to go through with it, click yes. If you want to uh, attach the receipt, click no, but we'll just go through with it for now. And that's it. Now you're done. You don't have to do anything else. AP will go in and check and approve the report and will mark it as reimbursed once we put it on your paycheck so you can have it in your own Expensify account to keep track of. You'll see that in your list of reports, you've got one here and it's still in processing. You can filter out your reports to show different policies that you might be on because we'll add more policies if you're potentially a credit card holder in the future. And you can filter by status and different types of uh, date ranges. And that's essentially Expensify in a nutshell, so I hope it's easy enough for you guys to pick up. 
But as you know, you can come talk to me, and we can share a beer over it. Bye.